everyone, I'm Catherine Decina Sapelin, and today I'm back with learning Dutch and things I hate about it. We're discussing hain and meat. I'm not going to lie, are the most evilest of evil words that exist in Dutch. I don't like them. They are mean to me. They really are. Just boo. So for those of you who don't know, hain and meat are words that you use to make a sentence negative. What makes it really, really difficult is that meat means not, hain means not, but meat is in conjunction with the verb, and hain is in conjunction with like an adjective and a noun. That might be wrong because I recently learned while I thought I had this and was beating it into submission. I don't. I mean, it's just, it's frustrating because I apparently just still suck at Dutch. Urgh. We're gonna start the complaining with hain. Sort of means like no or any and not comparatively to English. So for example, you could say, I don't have any money, which would translate to ik heb hain helt, which makes sense. You can easily do that in your head, no problem, but then you have this difference in language between literal translation and like the spirit of the language, which is like hippy dippy stuff that like when people say that I just want to beat them over the head with my, my Dutch book, which isn't that heavy and probably wouldn't hurt, but it would give me great satisfaction, even if it is violent. And the problem arises when you have a phrase in English for example, I'm not hungry, and you would think that it would translate to ik heb niet hunger, and it doesn't. That just isn't said. The phrase is ik heb geen hunger. There's really no way around learning these other than to get in the habit of saying them because they're just, they're different. You, you can't literally translate them. It's like the spirit of the language. It's just like, mm. Right, and then there's there's neat. And neat is the easiest one because it goes with the verb. And normally when you have a verb and not, they stick together and marry because that's been my experience in all the other languages I know, albeit that's only two. But like in English, when you have not, it goes with the verb. So much so that you can make a contraction out of it. And then in French you have ne and pa which surround the verb so you can't miss the fact that it's in the negative. Except in Dutch where it's like meat just like to jump around and be in weird places for reasons. I thought I had this down. I thought I knew it. And like recently I discovered I didn't. For example, if you want to say, I'm not going to school, that would be ik ha niet af school. And the word order is pretty much the same. I go not to school, makes sense, I can visualize it, no problems. But that's an exception because there is a preposition. If you want to say something like, I didn't read the books, you would say, ik lees de boek niet. And niet comes out the end and I feel like in this sense it's not so much I didn't read the books because when you translate it it's more like I read the books psych I find it very frustrating and I just want to rip my hair out because I don't understand why meat doesn't want to like be friends with the verb word order in Dutch is is that's a whole other video. But what's frustrating is when I ask, you know, Dutch speakers, they're like, we don't know. It's like this because Netherlands. Just why? Why? It's just, it's so mean guys. Like Neat and Hain have it out for me. And I'm just, I'm so disappointed because it's like, I was doing so well in Dutch and like this has just shook my confidence. Not that that's going to stop me from utterly butchering the language and just putting meat wherever the hell I want to because I, 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 I do that anyway. I don't conjugate verbs. I don't care about inversion and getting the verbs in the right place. <laughs> I should probably care more. I think it's my form of rebelling because Dutch has it out for me. <sighs> 
If you're somebody who is awesome in Hain and Needs and you would like to give me some info on why it is the way it is, I would love you forever and ever and ever. Or if you're someone who has learned a new language and there's something that you just hate about it because it's the evilest evils of evil, tell me about it in the comments below. When you give this video a thumbs up, that's a day that it won't rain in Belgium. So do it, cause it rains too much. Subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and I'll see you guys in the next one. Toot scenes, may apple scenes. Story, I need a story. I need a story. Something that I can say.